Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. Welcome to all of my amazing boss buddies. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day, guys. Happy, happy Saturday to each and every one of you. Guess what, y'all? I'm finally getting around to this basket. It has been around and around and around and around on every video that I have made here in this room, y'all. It has been sitting on the table. So I know you guys have seen it in the background. We're finally making our way to wrapping this basket up, guys. As I stated on my video that I recorded previously today, um, I'm not moving any further with fall decorations, fall wreaths, or nothing until I get those few baskets that are back there on that table wrapped, okay? They've been lingering around a little bit too, too long. So here you'll see me showing you guys the different items that I'm going to be using in this LOL Girls gift basket. It can be sold for Christmas. It can be sold for Valentine's Day. It can be sold for a birthday, guys. You name it, you can sell it for whatever occasion you want the way that I design. It does not limit the occasion that you're able to sell, all right? So we're just going in, guys. I have a backer here that you will see me taping this little game board. I got this from Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm taping it to the back of the backer and all the backer is, is a piece of cardboard with folded sides that I have wrapped. Um, this is some gift wrap that I got last Christmas from Walmart and I'm just using that. I used it to wrap the box and then I used it to make a backer. Okay. Always make sure that you have a backer, a picture, a large item, something in the back of your basket to give your basket a sturdy foundation also so that you will have it to build your items upon so you will see me doing just that i'm not quite sure where i want to put things at but i'm just playing around with it which is what i suggest you do as well if it's not where you want it honey take it out put it back in take it out put it back in take it out put it back in however many times you want until you get it the way that you want it all right but don't overthink it guys just go ahead and put your larger items in the back your taller items in the back and then work your way forward you will see in this video, I have designed this basket in real time. I did not speed it up, which is what I do with some of my videos, um, just for time's sake. But I did not speed this particular one up so that you guys can see how fast I design. When I have my items sitting there, I can design fairly, fairly quickly. That's how and why I have a goal set at 1000 before valentine's day guys it does not take me long at all to design i've been doing it for so long i probably can design gift baskets in my sleep i know i can make bows in my sleep but anyway y'all it took me about 14 minutes realistic time um to do this basket i had to go in and out of the room to get the ribbon and get a couple other things but for the most part i had most of the items sitting there on the table which will also help you as well my fellow boss buddies to design much quicker okay and that way you can knock your goals out however many you want to make if you want to make a thousand if you want to make two thousand if you want to make 20 or 2200 guys this is the method that you do make sure you have as many items as possible sitting right there so you don't have to go digging all around in the doghouse under the chairs under the tables under the mats all these different places looking for items when you can just sit them right on your working station so that's what i did but like you can see i had to walk away because i had to go get some different little things that i needed which was number one the ribbon number two i needed some more gift tissue to stand that item up just a little bit more so if your items are not standing up the way that you would like them you can go up underneath and add some more construction paper newspaper craft paper whatever it is that you build your baskets with or you can just simply get some gift tissue and just lift it up a little bit now the gift tissue is not sturdy so it will sink down but in this particular case the item that i placed um the gift tissue on top of is very very light so i don't have to worry about it and even if it does shift down a little bit no biggie you'll still be able to see this item okay so guys, yeah, this pretty much is the gist of this basket. I added some candy with it, of course, because it is a child's basket and most children like candy. So that's just what I'm doing for this basket here, guys. And that pretty much wraps up and sums up this voiceover. But I hope you like this video. I know I love it because guess what? I can get that LOL basket off of that table. I am so sick of looking at LOL 
sitting on that table looking at me. But now she can go in there in the other room with the rest of the baskets that are already made. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, guys. Share it to your local platforms, whether it be Facebook, whether it be on your YouTube community post, whatever. Make sure you share this video so that other boss buddies can join in with us and we can continue creating this amazing community that God has allowed me to start. All right, get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all.